What is going on everybody, Java Aaron here and welcome to the start of my Let's Play series on Football Manager 2016. It's not actually going to be the first episode though, so you're probably a bit confused right now, but what I'm actually going to be doing is I'm going to be showing you the essential things to do when you first start a Football Manager save here on Football Manager 2016. Now as you can see, I will be going Tottenham Hotspur and that brings me on to the first thing you've got to do, so let's move on to the next page. So the essential thing to do when starting up on Football Manager 2016 is to choose managerial style. Now a lot of people just skip by this and leave it at the default. It's probably a bad idea, I used to do that, but I've learned from my mistakes. So you do actually want to pay a bit of attention. This is the default page, and I'm just going to actually skip to the page that I like to use, and I will show you that in just one moment. Alright, we are back, and as you can see, there's been quite a few changes to the page. Now, I go off what I think is more important. As you can see, I've gone with quite high motivating attacking and defensive stats. Fitness and goalkeepers, I'm never really going to be a fitness or goalkeeper coach on this game. So what's the point in having high stats for it? Took points away from there to get it down to four. Move tactical, mental and technical all up. Working with youngsters is a bit of a strange one because it doesn't really matter how young your team is. That will never change. I've noticed that from my uh, Borussia Dortmund and Benfica save. Because my team has always had the youngest average age, yet that stat has never changed. Moving on to the other side, motivating, that's got to be a big thing. Level of discipline, now if you guys don't know what that is, I'm just going to hover over and show you. So level of discipline is actually how likely a player is to come with to you with their concerns. So if a player wants to leave, if you have a higher level of discipline, they're probably not going to come to you. Which is a big thing for me, because I get a lot of players saying that they're unhappy with the level of first team football. Because I have this bad habit of just favouring certain players. So that's very, very important for me. So that is stage one of what to do first on Football Manager 2016. Okay, so the first thing you actually want to do is you're not even going to pay attention to any of these. You'll just come back to them. Go to the squad. That's the main thing. And sort your squad by ability. That way you can see the best players in your squad at the moment. And basically, what you actually want to do is as well just skip the tactics creator and then get your squad. And now you'll actually be able to put your players into the squad. So I'm just going to quickly do that and show you why this is important. Okay, I am back. And as you can see, I've filled pretty much the whole team. A few of the players are out of position. But what you can actually do now is you can go over to Tactics and look at how comfortable the players are in that position. So as you can see, we've got Kane and uh, Son up front. Nice midfield for... This isn't my Tactics, by the way, guys. This is literally just get the players on paper. Then that back four is pretty solid. So going off that for me, I need another winger, potentially two, depending on how Lamella likes to play. I might not though, because what I'm probably going to do is I'm probably going to have one up front with Harry Kane. I'll move Son out to the wing, and then I'm going to have um, these two push up like so. I'll just quickly show you, and then I'm probably going to drop him in there with Harry Kane up top. So basically, I probably need a defensive mid, and maybe one defender, and a potential winger, maybe striker. This just helps you build your transfer knowledge of what you actually need to do in this window. Alright, so moving on to stage 3, you want to actually get the training straight underway. Now, what you actually want to do before the training, but I'm not going to do it right now, is you want to actually do set up your tactics. That means when you do the training, it will be much more beneficial. So first things first, you actually want to come to the training page. And for pre-season, I actually go tactical, high. I allow them a rest after the game and I allow them a quite a fair bit of match focus, so two days. That's just kind of standard for the way I actually roll. And then obviously I actually have match tactics as the main focus and then change it as and when you need to. Next thing you want to do is you want to go over to coaches and literally just click ask assistant to assign and that is literally all, nothing else for that part. The next thing is actually to do with the training and as you can see I'm actually on the staff page so you literally just click staff and it brings up this page. It's quite new to FM16 and it essentially shows you your coaching team, your scouting team and then your medical team in comparison to other teams in the Premier League. So as you can see, that's the average. That little bar right in the middle is the average. That bar's the worst and that bar's the best. Now for Tottenham Hotspur, this is pretty disappointing. We're literally average or below average. We're not actually above average in anything except for that one and maybe that one. So going off this i know i need to change quite a lot of my coaching team here at tottenham which will be one thing that i do need to address very early on in the season this is why it's so important to get it done now the next two things as i said before the tactics you can do it now or you could do it just before the training i like to do it now and 
literally just get it all set up together. So when you're doing the tactics, you obviously want to be looking at your team. What your kind of transfer ideas are. You want to get your team instructions underway. Obviously, I've got presets and stuff like that. You want to get your team shape. You want to get your mentality. And then, obviously, set pieces. Set pieces this year are actually new. The revamped. It's quite a nice setup, as you can see here. It takes quite a bit more time, but it's so much worth doing. And everyone ignores this. Do the player instructions for your team. It's so, so important, especially this year. Make sure you get them right. Then last but not least, what you do actually want to do is you're going to want to watch my Wonder Kid videos, which probably sounds a bit stupid, but watch them. And then when I upload the last one, which will be Goalkeepers, I'll be leaving a link to the shortlist of Wonder Kids down in the description. But I'm just going to show you what I mean by that. So I go to shortlist. I go down here and I go to load shortlists and you go full Wonder Kids load. And as you can see, there are all the Wonder Kids for this year that I recommend. But I'm not going to show you too many of them because that's a bit of a secret. That is all for this video. I hope you have enjoyed. These are the key tips to starting Football Manager 2016. They're absolutely essential. That is all for this video. I hope you have enjoyed. Please do let me know. Drop that like, comment, subscribe. It is always much appreciated. Give me some feedback on these videos if that is something that you like to do. If it's not, then that's fine. But, you know, feedback is much appreciated. Until next time, guys, goodbye.